Um, so, first you want to make sure your horse is thoroughly groomed, because if they are dirty, then it would be really uncomfortable for the horse if they have anything stuck underneath and the saddle pad rubs against them, it would get really uncomfortable for them and can irritate the horse. Um, so first, then you want to start off with, off with your saddle pad. Um, this is a western saddle pad and it's a lot different than English. It's pretty heavy, really, it's really padded. And you can, and you can usually tell which side is the front. This one, where this is. Um, <laughs> and you just um, kind of want to rub it against them to make sure they know what's, what you're going to do. You just set it on top. You want to make sure it's not totally covered in withers because that's on top. And it'll get uncomfortable and it will throw them off balance. But you want to make sure it's not too far back here because then you're too far back on the horse's back when you're sitting on them. And it will hurt them. So you want to make sure it's kind of in the middle of the withers, which is these things right here. Um, make sure it's centered on the back. You can kind of see the middle. And then you want your saddle. Um, western saddle. And this is my little saddle back thing. And so I usually bring the stirrup up. Um, and put it on the horn when I put it over because otherwise the stirrup will flip over and hit her on the other side. So, And you want to make sure you lay it on them gently like I just did because if you plop, like throw it on them, it really is it can hurt them because if you're throwing this heavy thing on their back. So you want to lay it gently. If it's too heavy for you to do that, you can get somebody to help you get the saddle on your back. Because you don't want to hurt yourself or the horse. And you want to make sure it's centered on the back. Same with the saddle pad. You want to make sure it's centered, not too far back, not too far forward. You can see there's a little saddle pad left right here. And um, it's not the same as English, where the saddle pad's more up and forward, it's, it's farther back. And so then I'm gonna to go to the other side and bring the stirrup down, and I'm going to connect my girth. I'm gonna do this. There's a little strap, kind of like this one, but much shorter, that I'm gonna put it through the hole. And I wanna make sure this is facing the front, because if you use um, a breastplate or something, which I don't, um, you're gonna connect it to this. Um, so I'm going to go do that on the other side. And I bring my strip down. So I'm connecting this girth. And then I reach underneath. <laughs> and for me, I stick this long strap. So there are many different types of girths that you can use. So I stick it once through there, and I stick it through this metal, this metal piece, and I kind of cinch it up a little bit, not too much, and I stick it through again, because this is really long. And I actually do it another time, because otherwise I have too much left. And and you can see she kind of, she, I do it slowly with her because she doesn't exactly enjoy it very much. And I'm going to put it through again. <laughs> Which is, just kind of cinch it up through. And then see, it's easy because then you can get it down here and you can lift it up and it works really well. You can just cinch it up. And you want to make sure it's not too loose because then your saddle will slide off. Good girl. And get under here. Cinch it up. Go one. Oh, there we go. And you can 
You also don't want it to be too tight because it can harm the horse if it's too tight. And just stick the axis um, in the rest of the girth. And this is the saddle then. Then you have this all set. And you want to check um, you want to check the girth before you ride out again because they horses can bloat and um, which is them kind of puffing themselves up and holding their breath so that when you tighten it it's tightening when they're wider and then what happens is when you go out to ride they exhale and then the girth is too loose and then then your, your style falls off or it's too loose and it slides at the side so you want to check that um, and then you get your bridle, your western bridle. This is purchases. Um, we keep most of our halters and bridles on this hook or another hooks over there. I usually keep purchases on those other hooks, which, but for the video, I am using on that one. So this is her bridle. I have the simple brow band and um, so. I'll show you how to do this. So, I usually keep, you can keep the halter on when you ride or you can take it off. It does not hurt them to keep the halter on. It doesn't get in the way. It can be easy if you're on like a trail ride or something and you take the bridle off so they can graze while you're sitting around when you're taking a break and then tie them up with the lead rope and the halter. But, um, so, I'm going to keep her halter on for the video purposes. And you can undo her lead rope. Put the reins around her neck so that if she does, if your horse tries to go away or if it spooks, you still have the control over her neck. Oh, yeah. And so you want to, some people put their head, their arm over the he horse's head. I don't usually, I do that sometimes, it depends. Um, otherwise you can go around like this, or just like this, but, um, and then you want to stick your hand kind of like this, so these fingers hold this out of the way so this doesn't go in their mouth or anything, and then you have this, your hands on the bit, and bring it around, make sure everything is in the right order, and then, come on, and if they don't open their mouth, you can stick your finger back where there's no teeth. Come on. And come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good girl. And it you won't get bit because they have no teeth back there. Um, there's a and you want to make sure you get this because otherwise don't go. Come on. It won't. You want to put the chain underneath this because it gets stuck on this. So when you're putting the bridle on, it can get stuck. So and then bring it over the ears as you saw, and you want to make sure you get the forelock out of this because otherwise it can be very uncomfortable for them if they have that stuck. And then. You want to make sure everything is right before, and then you bring this around. Um, kind of loosens up sometimes. Bring it around, and for this, you want to make sure you can fit four fingers. Some people do a fist or four fingers in between here and down here. So I usually put hers on second second hold. Um, it depends on your horse, of course, and how your bridle is. So you want to make sure she has that, otherwise it can choke them and it can hurt the throat when you ride. And you want to make sure um, your bridle is fit, fitted right. So lift your head up. And then some people, many people have different types of bridles. Um, and that's pretty much how you tack up your horse western. 
there are many other um, pieces of tack that people use also, like the breastplate or for English the um, martingale. And there's different different things that people use, but this is all we do, all we put on our horses most of the time, Natalie's in mine. So thank you guys for watching. Um, hope to see you guys in another video. Thanks.